And we're underway with toe meeting leather. Jordan Travis will come out and take the reins of this Florida State offense for his own 25-yard line. Head coach Norvell says nobody has improved more. They set up the screen to the tight end. That's Douglas. Picks up a first down out to the 42-yard line. Coleman, nine touchdowns. It's been a human highlight film this year. And Johnny Wilson at six foot seven. That's about 13 feet of receivers on the sideline. Talent to Jaheim Bell making the catch and run. Picks up another first down. They've already picked up a couple of first downs. On the Panther side of midfield, the handoff. Torfili put it on the ground, recovered by Pittsburgh. I want you to keep an eye on David Green, number two, the defensive tackle. He's the one who gets his hand in. You see it right there as Toafili is trying to spin out of the tackle attempt. This is the exact kind of thing that the Pitt defense needs to create. More and more turnovers, more opportunity to make sure that Florida State's defensive line doesn't tee off with their pass rush. And this is what those ends really like. Jared Verse and Patrick Payton. Third down, they pin their ears back and force the incompletion intended. Play clock at 10. Travis hands it off to Trey Benson, who had a big week catching the football last week. And Quint, the Seminoles are down some important players, right? Cavernous hole in the offense. Travis, complete for the first down, a 13-yard pickup. Pressure on the quarterback at all times. Third and six. He delivers for the first down out to the 38-yard line. Somebody's got to get those targets. Ophelia in motion. They're going to hand it off to Rodney Hill. Nowhere to go for him. Here this afternoon against this high-powered Florida State offense. Second and long. They set up the screen. Got a man wide open. That's Hill with the first down. Ran over his defender. Oh, he put his hat down and gave smoke all the way down to 16. Donovan McMillan talked about the screen game and how it was going to play a big part to in the Florida State attack. And you can see Rodney Hill is going to be one-on-one -on -one against McMillan in the open field. A possession. On the sweep, Paul Feely. He put it on the ground last time. Hangs on to it this time. Jordan Travis on the edge. Here's Benson up the middle. He's going to be short. Pitt will take over on downs. Brandon George with the stop. All day. That's one of the best plays he's had all year long. First and Ted Pitt from their own seven yard line. There, out of the end zone, completes it for the first down to his tight end, Gavin Bartholomew, who they've been trying to integrate even more. Got to get it to zero, Bub means. Got to get it to Mumfield, number nine. They pass through the hands of his receiver, Bartholomew, again. Douglas in motion, Travis. Hands it off to his tailback, Trey Benson, the Oregon transfer. Wow, some interminable effort. You can see it's just a weak side counter play. You're going to see Trey Benson at 220 plus pounds. He's got great feet, great center of gravity. You better break. Third and six, Travis gets rid of it downfield, overthrown. And fourth down coming up and tested for Destin Hill again. Averaging almost 47 yards per punt this year. Line drive, end over end punt will. Let's see where they spot him. From the 20. They do a little wildcat. Direct snap to Hammond Jr. Ball came loose, it looked like. Not the way they drew this one up. This is a big time hit by linebacker Kalen Deloach, the leader on their defense. You see it right there. He stands in straight up. Rodney not able to. The wide receiver Kenny Johnson out in the flat for what could have been a catch and run situation. Just distribute the football. Had it batted down to the line of scrimmage that time. And it'll be fourth down and 12. Patrick Payton. Fourth and two. Seminole's going to punt. Alex Mastromano. Rolls to his right, nose of the football down. And Devonshire calls a fair catch back at the 18-yard line. It'll be first and 10. They are one for seven so far. Total of 17 yards. 
taking a shot deep. Got a man in the post. Pat Mumfield on the move. They spotted. Now he comes from out of bounds. After further review, oh, the ruling on the field stands. It's a touchback. Wow. He'd rather have the touchdown. Travis taking a shot after the turnover. Incomplete and a flag going to be called. Bell in motion, the tight end. Travis hits him, and he's met immediately at the 28-yard line by Pamera. Let's go back to the studio. Travis had it blocked at the line of scrimmage. Knocked down by Shane Simon, the transfer from Notre Dame. End over end punt, fair catch called at the 17-yard line by Devonshire. Second down and 10. I will say this, offensive line holding up so far in pass protection. He steps up there. Looked like he was trying to throw it away, but we might add a highlight catch on the sidelines by Reynolds. They call Day Day. You see him right here, just tracking the ball. Left foot on the, it's still touching. He's in. He keeps it in. That's as good as you'll see, folks. That's as good as you'll see. That's his tremendous wow. sideline instincts. Up signing with Penn State out of high school. Little pressure coming. They almost got to him, and it's incomplete. Third and nine. Travis incomplete, and this is as disjointed, as disconcerted as we've seen. Bowman and Johnny Wilson. There's just no way you can get around it. Ostromano, they came after it a little bit, but he gets it off cleanly all the way down to the 36-yard line where Devonshire makes the fair catch on the 44-yard punt. Pitt is all about. Gaping hole up the middle and a nice run. A sprint by Hammond for the first down. That offensive line. First and 10. They're doing just that. Bayer off the play fake. Delivers that man. Caught at the 18. Means, but we have a flag down back near the line of scrimmage at the 41. Patrick Payton, right here at the bottom of your screen against Bartholomew. Bartholomew, watch the right hand as it starts to get up right there. It's on the face mask. And Bub Means just runs a nice route here. And again, this guy's 6'2, 215 pounds. You know, he's going to go up and take the ball out of the air. They've got some good size ones, too. There's the jump ball to prove it. Bites! Quarterback Christian Bayer, his sixth touchdown pass of the season, and another confidence builder partner. They lead seven to nothing. Douglas in motion. Gonna hand it off to Benson, trying to get to the edge. Stayed on his feet and ran out of bounds right near that first down marker. It appears as if he got enough to move the chains. Millen had a good week of practice. Tough, big, fast, big hitter. They come right up the middle on Travis, and he beat them, found the hot guy. Get to some of the mismatches on the inside, but get the quarterback on the edge. So a feeling in the backfield. Travis taking a shot. Got the man in the catch. First and goal, Ja'Kai Douglas. Got in behind A.J. Woods. Beautiful throw and catch. You see Ja'Kai Douglas on the slot fade, as they call it. Jordan Travis just puts it right. Oftentimes it could turn out not even close to what you expected. They go quick on the snap. Benson in the backfield. They try and push Travis in, and he makes it. Touchdown Seminoles. Jordan Travis kept it for the touchdown. Play drive. You see him. He's trying to just gives off to the right. Yeah, you see the ball there. It breaks the plane with the goal line clearly. 10,000 yards passing for his career earlier in the game. 
Ryan Fitzgerald ties the game at seven apiece. With 4-10 to go in the opening half. They are in the offense 0-4 of on third down today. Catch, but short of the first down to Mumfield. Couldn't have drawn up a better script here in the first half so far. Backs out of the eye. Flemister flagged down. Flemister down right near the line of scrimmage. You have to make the young quarterback pay. Knowles in a fight right now. Bayer through the arms of his intended receiver, number three, Reynolds. And it's incomplete. Ja'Kai Douglas back for this punt for the Seminoles. Perched at his own 21-yard line. Junko with the kick. It's going to bounce at about the 30. And trickle out of bounds at about the 25. It'll be first and 10 from there. Third and 10. Travis complete to the tight end. Kyle Morlock still on his feet amazingly. Morlock in the open field. Down to the 11-yard line. Three-yard game. This can't happen if you're pitch defense. You can't have two of your best defenders at the point of a But a single receiver to the top. He goes that way up in the air. Caught but out of bounds. Incomplete. From 32 yards out. We get a timeout. Washington and Alabama on the fringes there. A spirited run by Daniel Carter. He's made good use of his touches so there's, far there's today. There's no huh? question about what it. About that? See here, you just watch him right here, how he gets through the hole with low center of gravity on this inside zone. And you see there the left tackle, Branson Taylor, with a nice block. Watch 78 Branson Taylor right here. Watch what he does to Tatum Bethune. Watch how he gets locked on. Bethune can't get off. And then you just keep driving him. Keep driving him. Put him on the ground. Keep driving him. Send a message. They are completed. Down to the 44. Florida State undefeated. Flemister stayed on his feet, made a couple of guys miss, used that straight arm, and finally wrestled out of bounds. There was a missed tackle by Akeem Dent and Patrick Payton. Watch Patrick Payton right here. Watch him as he's coming across the field. You got to get him on the ground right there. You got to wrap him up and put the running back on the ground. You're a defensive end. That play should be dead right there. Sacked back at the 40. They got to him. He's just coming downhill. And you can just see right there, Christian Veyer's just got to get that ball out of his hands. That's Deloach's fifth sack of the year. It's just a momentum killer. Veyer going to be sacked again. That's the sixth one of the day. Just watch what he does to Jay Cradle. It's kind of a little bit of a push-pull. Push. -pull. push and then kind of arm overs him. And Braden Fisk is one of the guys that they said this guy just loves football. He loves playing for Florida State. He loves everything about the game, and he has been playing high level football all year. Ball came loose on the hit. Trey Benson in the backfield on first and 10. Travis gets it out quickly. Pass complete to the tight end. Jaheim Bell, nowhere to go. Going to be brought down. Travis flushed out of the pocket. And sacked at the six. Great backside pursuit. Doozy calling card. Rush with six up front. And then they play a three deep, two under type of zone scheme in the back. And what they're banking on is this. We're going to get to your quarterback. He's only going to be able to read one side of the field before he can come back and find the zone hole opposite. And right there, you see Jordan Travis immediately. He's flushed out of the pocket. And he can't find that open hook. That's the risk. That's the chance that they're taking by putting pressure. Playing smart, making sure you know where you're supposed to fit are critical. It'll cost you if you don't get it right. On second and two, they run over the more proficient side of that offensive line, the left side. 
and pick up the first down. Hammond again. It's Ben Mumfield. He looks like he's one on one down here at the bottom of the screen. Bayer not going to have time and is rushed to throw it out of bounds. Seventh punt today. Pitt officially out of field goal range after the penalty. Dehim Bell in motion. Travis going to pull it out. Actually, no, he doesn't. Solomon to Shields. Toa Feely motions out of the backfield. Travis, little receiver screen complete. And a nice run after the catch by Ja'Kai Douglas for the first down. Third down. Travis, a dart complete near midfield at the 48-yard line to the tight end. Jacobs in motion. Jacobs down the seam, makes the catch in the first down. Down to the 31-yard line. Right here, Jordan Travis. You see, and he's seeing that there is an absolute void in the middle of this defense. Benson in the backfield on third and three. Travis incomplete intended for Toa Feely out of the backfield Travis wanted a flag touchdown Seminoles Douglas on the catch and Jordan Travis strikes the confusion here you got three on two at the top they go empty and they just don't cover down on the on the tight wow. end Douglas and they just let him free release and vacate it's a mis miscommunication of some sort Gave him an easy one that time. Douglas with the second touchdown catch of the season. There. Got rid of it. Pop for the first down. Bub means. There. Almost intercepted at the 40 yard line. Going under some difficult circumstances there in New York. Travis pulls it out. Going downfield and caught! What a grab by Ja'Kai Douglas. He was working A.J. Woods. Look where he puts this ball. Over the outside shoulder, away from the defender. What happens? You get gassed. If you don't hit this square up, you see right there, you just make it easy for the offensive lineman to just wall you off. If you just put a shoulder in there, and you don't square that block up and make it harder for the running back to hit that ball like that, that's what happens. You create creases in the front. Man, he was untouched, and it starts a hemorrhaging of fan. You take a side, and this is what happens. You get gassed. If you don't hit this square up, you see right there, you just make it easy for the offensive lineman to just wall you off. If you just put a shoulder in there. How they play takes on a lot of importance. Got to get their poise back right continue, here. Hammond on the run. Exactly. To continue to compete. Bob Means out to the top of your screen. Reynolds in motion. Bayer got rid of it quickly. Pass complete to Mumfield, and he's going to be close to the first down. Jerkovic goes under center, takes the snap, and will pick up the first down. I like a little trickery there. I, I was about to say, <laughs> if, if they actually snap this ball in the gun, and it's risky, but again, chunk plays. How can we get the ball down the field, get the ball to Mumfield? Oh, boy. When you're trying to establish some kind of rhythm and some kind of consistency. Bayer, high, picked off at the 25-yard line, and the defender fell down. Hussey with the INT. This one just gets what gets away from Christian. He just airmails it. Costly, costly mistake. Travis trying to get his shoulder square to throw it. Comes back the other way, got a receiver, and he's got some runners, Destin Hill. And Hill makes it deep into pit territory at the 35-yard line. Little reverse and pass. Travis sacked back in midfield by Temple. Here, this is the kind of competitiveness that we're talking about. Despite the fact that the game is getting away from you a little bit, just watch how he continues to work, continues to work, continues to work. Travis into traffic and incomplete, intended for Portier. And evoking those memories with their record this year. Nice pass and catch, complete to Means. 
Carter in the backfield. I think that Carter... Travis looked good, pardon me, earlier. Tackle by Barker. He stayed true to the mission as the ball goes incomplete in the far side. Looks like the pit player is shaking up and we got multiple flags. And you see that consistency from Coach Norvell and this program. Third and three. They are incomplete. Intended for his tight end, Carter Johnson. Now there's a bl blueprint there to follow. Portier was in motion. They run it with Hill. Brought down by Bentley. Yeah, to, to me it started with Lakeer Thomas from South Carolina. Third and long. He talked about that extensive. Backside pressure. There's a flag down in the backfield. That's complete to Rodney Hill. The administration down there said when we went down there for the Virginia Tech game, yeah, this game's going to be great, but man, <laughs> you down here at night. That's complete. Fumbled and scooped up by the Seminoles in the secondary. Secondary, I think it's Conrad Hussey who comes in there with a big hit, number 12. You see it right there, who is someone who the coaching staff Defensive coordinator Adam Fuller has raved about the fact that this young man has speed. He hits like a truck. Yeah, yeah. And they're just so deep. And again, that, that's another. Holmes in the backfield. Bell in motion. They'll hand it off to Holmes. Hey, credit to the Seminoles. In a game and an evening that could have been. And the college football season is really starting to heat up right now with the, the push for the playoffs and every game. Oh, nice catch over the middle. And. That's going to be a targeting flag. The next half of the yeah, game that, is that's, hard. Yeah, that's ridiculous. On the handoff, this is Holmes. First and goal, Seminoles. When you're talking about the transfer portal, it's not just about the perimeter players. As a matter of fact, it's probably more about the big men than ever before. Now, we've seen examples of teams that have been impacted by line of scrimmage. Negatively and positively. It just it just decimates yeah. you. I mean